What's up guys, welcome to the Fantasy Addiction Network. Today we're gonna to be breaking down the week 14 game between the LA Wildcats and the New York Guardians. Going over all of the fantasy relevant players, starts and sits in this one. But hey, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Anyway, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so as I said, breaking down the very first game on the slate, the Saturday afternoon game between the Wildcats and the Guardians now. A week ago, this was looking like a potential rebound game for the Guardians getting to go back home after losing two games, but then the Wildcats surprised everyone and destroyed the DC Defenders on Sunday. So it's going to be a very interesting game. This is a very important game for the Guardians to win, but now it's looking like they are much less favored to do so. This is one of the lowest, I believe this is the second lowest over, over under on the week. We have 39 and a half points and the Wildcats are favored to win this one by six and a half. So going to be a rough outing for the Guardians, but they're at least at home. So that should give them at least a little bit better chance. We still have not heard any official word from the team as to who the starting quarterback is. As soon as we get that information, we'll let you guys know. But anyway, as we normally do, let's break each of these teams down and go over all of the players that we would start in this fantasy matchup. All right, so beginning with the LA Wildcats, we'll look at the quarterback here. Obviously, Josh Johnson came alive last week. He currently has the highest average depth of target at 12.9 yards, still hasn't thrown an interception yet, and has the highest quarterback rating of any of the starting quarterbacks. But with the loss of Nelson Spruce, that's definitely going to hurt him. Traveling to New York with a ball hawking defense, and if he can survive throwing a pick this week, that's going to be really good for him. But uh, know that no team has surrendered less quarterback fantasy points than the Guardians at this point. And part of that has to do with just the fact that the other team isn't having to do nearly as much as we saw last week with Jordan Tayamu. So this could definitely be more of a down game for Josh Johnson. I'd still start him though. There's not enough quarterbacks to really be too picky at the, in this league. Looking at the running backs, we need to continue to monitoring the injury report. Martez Carter exploded onto the scene last week. So if he's out, that's going to be a huge bummer to this team. But I think he'll still end up playing. If he does play, I think you can start him. But if he's out, I'm probably not going to play either Larry Rose or Elijah Hood in this one. Just too much ambiguity there. Martez Carter is the only guy I would trust this week. So make sure he's active before putting him in your lineup. Uh, looking at the wide receivers, Trey McBride is practicing in a limited fashion and is a must start if he's active, especially with Nelson Spruce out. Regardless though, this is a week to start Jordan Smallwood, who should look to get a lot of the targets that would normally go Spruce's way. I'll hold off on endorsing Kermit Whitfield or Adonis Jennings until we e see either have a decent fantasy day. Unless McBride is out, then I'd probably be willing to throw Whitfield into my lineups. Uh, and also bank more on Whitfield if I had to make a bet between those two. But it's looking like McBride, McBride will play, so I would play McBride, Smallwood, and no one else here. Uh, looking at the tight end, Brandon Barnes may finally see an uptick in targets this week as well, although you're really only starting him in leagues where you have to start a tight end. Uh, probably not going to be flexing him in leagues where you don't. And then finally, looking at the defense with the implosion to the Guardians offense and the surprising performance of LA last week, and honestly, even the week before they were doing okay in terms of forcing turnovers. So I would imagine that they should have another solid performance here, even though they're on the road in New York. I'm still pretty confident in starting the Wildcats defense this week. All right, so let's jump over and look at the New York Guardians. Now, beginning with the quarterback situation here, we have, uh, you know, probably the biggest quandary in terms of quarterbacks across the XFL. We have no clarity on who the starter is. Matt McLean is hurt and he's looked pretty rough in terms of his leadership and just his play. Marquise Williams had below 50% completion percentage last week and Luis Perez was the only guy who was able to get into the end zone last week. So I'm hoping that they end up going with Perez, but again, we haven't heard anything official yet. We'll keep you guys informed. Regardless, I wouldn't really be looking to start anyone here, even if we knew right now that Luis Perez was the starter. I'd still rather play a wait and see with him, uh, putting him in your lineup. Uh, looking at the running back, so Darius Victor has looked really good, but is still dealing with an ankle injury. He was a, a DNP in the latest injury report. Um, if he is out, you can pivot to Tim Cook, but I like Victor a lot more this week if both are active. And then Justin Stockton finally saw some usage last week. He was a guy that we were touting before the season started. He looked really good in the screen game. He definitely had a lot of juice. I would uh, like to think that they're going to end up using him a lot more this week. 
and should be a super sneaky, cheap DFS play. Also, note that no team is allowing more fantasy points to the running back than the Wildcats right now. So just keep that in mind, even though this game script is going to typically be one where you wouldn't see a lot of running back play, the quarterback situation is so bad that they're going to have to rely on the running backs even more this week. Now looking at the wide receivers, this quarterback situation makes it really impossible to trust anyone from this receiver core this week, which really sucks. Uh, Mikael McKay is, is still running routes on nearly every pass play, but he's not been targeted or used like we were hoping for. He's definitely due for a breakout game, but I'm still hesitant until we see some life from this offense. The Wildcats are also uh, allowing the second least points to opposing wide receivers right now, so I'm not really recommending a start for any receiver here. If you had to play McKay or Duke, I understand, but other than that, I'm, I would definitely stay away from wide receivers here. And then Jake Powell has been receiving enough targets to warrant a start if you're in a tight end required league, but otherwise steer clear. Uh, on the defensive side, they're actually not the worst option this week playing at home. Even though Josh Johnson is very good at protecting the ball, uh, I think it lowers their ceiling. But overall, I do think they still have a decent chance at being one of the higher defenses this week. They have a really good defense. They are able to put a lot of pressure on opposing quarterbacks. And hopefully they can get Josh Johnson to throw the, uh, his first interception on the season. All right, guys. So that was my breakdown. Again, I'm expecting this one to be pretty much close to the Vegas Lions. I would imagine that. That, uh, Los Angeles wins this one pretty decently so probably by about two possessions probably right around 10 points this should be one of the lower scoring games and as honestly a game that with the exception of a few guys I'm trying to avoid in DFS we'll get into more of that into our DFS video tomorrow so hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more content also check out my website fantasyaddictionnetwork.com you can ac get access to rankings and everything that you need in order to stay up to date across the XFL thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video Thank you.